Looks like I got a letter. And no, the letter didn't arrive like this. I cut open the envelope without realizing it. It was actually coming from one of you viewers out there. So I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm going to put all the information down below. If you guys are interested in sending letters or anything that you'd like to see me in a review, I'll put the all the address information down below. Now, this one comes to us from uh, Oregon uh, in the U.S. And again, I apologize for cutting this open because I didn't know what it was when I picked it up at my local post office. But it, it seems to contain a letter, which I, I cut open and then uh, realized it was a, a viewer letter, so I haven't read it yet, but I, I did take it out of the envelope. And then also uh, got a, a thing, a whole thing of goodies. So I'm gonna put that right there. Put the letter right there, or the envelope right there. And let's first have a look at the letter. So it was unfortunately cut off. I'll hold the email back there. Uh, it was cut off, unfortunately, when I cut it out of the envelope. But the letter says, it's a good long letter actually. Hello Spot, this is a thank you package, I suppose you could say. I'm totally blind except for light and shadow perception. And my husband is like me in his right eye and in his left eye, he has extreme tunnel vision. So it's like he's looking at everything through uh, the width diameter of a straw. Uh, not much really, but he does wonder, he does wonders with it. He does, he does the filming for your for our YouTube channel, and considering his lack of vision, I think that's pretty awesome. I'm not making light of this, of course, but it's it's ironic that uh, they were able to type all of that, and this guy is unable to read it. So my apologies for the, the horrible reading of this. Um, I do have to probably get glasses myself. Very small print. Again, I so I apologize for the little butchering of your read of the reading of your letter here. Uh, it further says, I actually didn't even know about product reviews on YouTube until I was going a Google search for some Dracula and werewolf figure a few years back, and a review yours actually came up in the results. I was confused as to why an action figure was on YouTube. I mainly knew about YouTube for music and shows. I didn't really have the time to mess with it uh, too much, to be honest. So curious, I checked on your video, and it was amazing. You described the product so well and its pros and cons that even being blind, I knew what it would look like and what I'd be getting. I bought some awesome figures thanks to your reviews and passed up others because thanks to your excellent descriptions. I knew they weren't what I was looking for. Well, you're very welcome. I try my best to explain something as best as I can. Explaining it really to some... I explain hopefully when I do figure reviews uh, to in, in a way that if I was watching a video, I would want somebody to describe a, a figure review. So. I'm glad I could. I was able to help you with that. And again, I gotta get some glasses. Uh, I was quickly addicted to your videos and thought, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm good at describing things, and I'm very detailed, so I could do this." You taught me how to review, and I used my similar skills for detail, etc. So that's how it started. Because of you, last year we took a film class, and our instructor, who used to work for NBC, asked us to do a local TV show. Our own local TV show because we really dug our YouTube channel, finding it and and us unique, uh, and thinking we'd be great on TV. Again, I need to say that this would not have happened without you, so I want to say thank you for that. The show is a spooky variety show where we do four segments: comedy, and then a product review, and then a book, a movie, or whatever review. My favorite was the how. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Frankenstein are so different in their original gothic novel from the movies, and the movies lose the good points and characterization. And then creepy news, which is usually some odd but true fact in history with paranormal undertones, or like something weird and true that happened to us, like having the exact same dream as someone else the same night with amazing detail. Just one little example, they get stranger, lol. But it's doing, but it's fun doing a TV show and a unique experience I never expected. The show is called Frightfully Brilliant, and it's once, and once it's up on TV, we are allowed to upload it to our YouTube channel as well. So if you're curious to see what you, uh, what what you spawned, that's how you'd look it up. 
Uh, as for our YouTube channel itself, it's called, I'm going to put this in the description down below so you guys can see. It's Jekyll Hyde Club. We are product reviews, reviewers, but we also do spooky true stories involving the weird things that actually happen to us. Terror. Uh, tarot card tutorials, movie and book reviews of a spooky nature, and do-it-yourself projects for spooky things. I don't think the fact that I can tell you what things to look like or have do-it-yourself ideas for making things is a big deal, just because I can't see, but others tend to disagree. A thing I'm trying to get used to, I suppose, it's just about adapting, but we are both born with a lack of vision, so we had a lifetime to get used to it page over here and again I'm my I can only apologize so many times but I do feel bad that my I gotta get some glasses uh, you may like our action figure packaging do-it-yourself ideas and our action figure into key keychain ones I made a candy container out of a kick-ass gremlin stripe Medicom box for example some action figure reviews we did may uh, you may enjoy because I didn't see them in, in your description, are the Mad Monster Party figures that are totally awesome. The talking 12-inch Crypt Keeper and the very stripe I mentioned using the box to make the container from, it's a big one and completely spectacular. We hope you enjoy all the gifts as we appear to have similar spooky tastes. I do like spooky stuff. I attempted to make sure you didn't have any of these in your collection already, and I'm curious to know if we succeeded, LOL. You have our card with our YouTube channel. Also, if you'd like to check out our spooky playlist, I think you'd dig some of it. And if I can make you shop, it would amuse me as I've bought so many cool figures I've seen you reviewing. Ha ha ha. Plus, I wanted to give back a little and just make you aware of how you inspired us to try something we never thought we would because when people have told us or told me, I have done that for them. It made me feel good. Uh, we are authors of horror, fantasy, and paranormal, and we've played in rock bands. My husband is a hypotherapist, hype, no therapist, and he reads runes and tarot. I make jewelry and potions, so while we do a lot, none of it had to do with reviewing products or having a TV show, so thank you for being an inspiration. If you'd like to keep in touch or contact us for any reason, you have our YouTube info, and my email is the following. If you ever do collaborations, we'd be in town. We'd always be down. Not holding our breath on that, so no worries. But it's free to toss it out there, lol. And just again, thanks. That's Morticia of Jekyll Hyde Club. And frightfully brilliant. It's a good substantial letter. Thank you very much for taking the time and not only writing that, but taking the time to also send some stuff my way. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the things that we got inside. We've got ourselves a cardboard casket decked very nicely out in yellow and purple with some accents here on the side in black. Up at the top, we've got a bat, four bats to be exact, with one of the bats being an actual elevated piece that they've taped on top. I'm trying my best to describe this here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the cover off, and inside it's batty for Halloween. I like, again, the coloring of the orange and the purple. And we got ourselves a whole ton of goodies inside. Uh, let's start for starters. We have ourselves a little gargoyle. That's, that's pretty cool. There's a button on the back. I wonder if it activates its wings. It activates not only its wings, the wings flap, but it also tilts the head up and down. I'm wondering what line this is from. It says Ace Novelty Company, Inc with a year of 1994. It actually kind of looks like something you would have seen from the cartoon Gargoyles. It does have posability in the arms. It does also have posability in the legs. That's really cool. I like that. I have to find a place to put that. I like the fact that it's got flapping wings to it. Put that right over there. Uh, we also got ourselves... What's inside here? It looks almost like a Jason mask necklace. Opening up the bag. Pulling this out. So what we've got here is, whoops, something I just dropped. I do apologize for that, there we go. It's two pieces, I actually thought it was one piece. So we've sort of got a pendant necklace, a sl slightly softer, rubbery sort of tubing necklace. And then on the bottom of it is one Jason Voorhees, at least, at the very least, his mask. 
It's made of a, of a metal. It's got a very nice chrome presentation to it. It's even got the little triangular chevron above his eyes. There's the back side of it there. That's very cool. I like that. Of course, anything Jason related, I'm going to be a big fan of that. So again, thank you very much for that. Along with that, the one thing I did drop is a, it looks like a chained necklace as well. There it is, fully opened up. And it's got this almost skeletal bird here, or a, a skull of a bird. It's painted in gold. It looks quite good, actually. It has a nice texturing to the top of its head. As best as I can describe it, it almost looks and feels like popcorn, The at least the top portion of the head. Looks like it's also forming out uh, the shape of a, f a flower. Kind of looks like the mask that Marty Skrull would use, the villain from Ring of Honor Wrestling. I know that's a, that's a weird comparison to make, but I like that quite a bit. Uh, inside as well. Oh, look at this. Gonna reach into the bag. This made up the heavier of the things included. And it looks like it's a bottle stopper. Specifically like a wine stopper. It is, what does that say? Demonic Possessions by Demonic Pinfestation? Oh boy, did I read that wrong. As I best could describe it, it looks like a gentleman, a skinned gentleman wearing a top, a shirt, a white shirt, drinking a glass of wine. It kind of looks like the character from the original Hellraiser, the uncle. Um, it's got a little bit of a texturing to it. It feels like all the details on it are raised. It is made of metal. And of course the stopper as a whole is made of metal. Very heavy too. I have several of these, but you are absolutely correct though. I do not have this one in particular. Thank you very much. Uh, also inside, we've got ourselves the business card. There it is right there. All things spooky, Jekyll Hyde Club. When we're together, every night is Halloween. That's from Morticia and Gomez Seinfeld, goth vloggers. There's their website down below, the YouTube channel, www.youtube.com, and then the channel, and then there's their email address. When we're together, every night is Halloween, a nice stamped print on the back there of the card. And we also got ourselves... It looks almost as if it's gonna be a letter as well. I'm going to just kind of hide the email. There we go. The list of spooktacular items. Oh, it is actually. Look at that. Wine Stopper, the lovely Julia. Here I was thinking it was Frank. It is actually Julia. I guess skinned face. I mean, they sort of kind of look the same. But that is Julia from Hellraiser 1 and 2. Also include the gargoyle action figure from Tales from the Crypt. There it, there it is right there. The Crypt Keeper cartoon. Because gargoyles plus Crypt Keeper is awesome. Two bits of man jewelry. I like that they put man jewelry there. Jason mask plus a plague doctor mask, because who doesn't love the black plague, right? A letter of explanation, which we hope makes things makes for interesting reading. Again, from Morticia and Gomez of Jekyll Hyde Club, and Frightfully Brilliant. Both of which I will be checking out right after I shoot this review. Again, a big thank you, and uh, my, my sincerest of apologies for the fact that I cut the envelope open first. I didn't realize who it was from, and I opened, uh, I opened it up, I saw the letter, and then I realized it was from one of the viewers watching this channel, and uh, I immediately dismissed any further attempt to open this up and see the goodies inside. I wanted to kind of keep it solely for the channel. Uh, again, if you guys are interested in sending letters, anything you'd like to see me review, or anything you'd like to see me open up on the channel, I'll put the address down below. One thing I will say, though, is if you have the opportunity and you do want to send something, you may want to mark on the box or the package, viewer. That way I know it's not something I should be opening with the camera off. Then way, that way I can hold off and open it up here on camera. Uh, certainly more video videos guys also will be coming your way if you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below Make sure you do so and uh, also make sure you check out the YouTube channel. 
Um, I'm going to put the link down below too. Once again, where's the business card? Right there, right there. Uh, check out the Jekyll Hyde Club for everything spooktacular. Actually, it says all things spooky. I simply just added tacular on the end of that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.